Hey everybody, this is Pistor I know. Um, coming to you from the man cave. Uh, I want to go over some tools. Now you guys have seen all the tools I use for the smaller scale stuff. Um, and that's what we're going to start with. Is uh, So I want to review the Fantic stuff. This is the Nex E1 Max. And so it's in a magnesium case. It's battery or battery magnetic. All the bits are magnetic. And it has a spot to remagnetize if they start losing their mag magneticity. I don't think that's a word, but anyway. So this one's got all the little bits. So if you're doing a TRX4M um, with a ripper body, you definitely want this with this bit right here. This right here is what you need to do the Mias Ripper properly and quickly. So this runs, I think, about 50 bucks. And to me, it's well worth it. Absolutely. If you're working on TRX4Ms, this is absolutely worth it. It's got some um, Torx bits, hex bits. Um, let's see here. So this one. Okay, this is a 1.5, which everybody knows you've used constantly. And this is a 2.5, so there's no 2, but there's a 1.5, 2.5. This other one looks like a 3, and this is probably a 1.3 or 1.27. Or as a lot of you guys know, is a 0 0.005 inch. Uh, then there's more over here torque spits torque spits screwdrivers flatheads phillips um, all kinds of stuff in here and like i said this little item uh, has two speeds high and low and lock um, but on low speed it's got the light in the end of it uh, it's actually low torque, not low speed. My bad. Low and high torque. Um, so, if you're working on smaller RC vehicles, uh, or even cell phones or laptops, you need something like this. It's really a great piece. So now, I've started looking into going bigger because obviously the SCX6 has a lot of bigger parts um, so I found this little guy uh, it's like a handheld drill uh, it's got the bit lock and then it comes with some bigger bits um, this is a that's an H3 so the bits some of them might be useful for uh, the SCX6, but I mean, that's just a little bit of bit. So the good thing is it's a proper size. So whereas this one had the little bits, this one takes all the bits in the world. So it's a very useful tool. I started using it, putting the... Um, axle housings together and the lay down servo mounts together uh, and it's got a lot of power it's got six different torque levels forward and reverse obviously and it's comfortable so if you're going bigger or around the house um, and let me, I'll say this right away. As you guys always know, I am not affiliated with Fantic. I have nothing to do with them. They have nothing to do with me. I just bought their products and I like them. So I'm telling you about them. The good thing about this 
is you can go to Amazon and get it for under thirty dollars. Under thirty bucks, you can have a Fantic. And this is the Nex L1. I think it's called the L because it's shaped like that. And it's a pretty heavy duty drill. I haven't tried drill bits on any of this yet, and I don't know if they're fast enough, but that's not what they're really for. So the next big one is the next S1 Pro. It's got 16 bits. Unleash potential challenge limits. Fantastic slogan. Made in China, just like everything else. But, again, it's got a magnesium case. To me, I would think this magnesium case would cost more than the, the drill, but it's pretty heavy duty. Uh, it comes with this cap. If it's around your toolbox and stuff, you really don't need a cap. Nothing falls out. Uh, again, it's magnetic. Talk about the tool in a second. But again, you've got bits. H3, H4, H5, H6. Flatheads. Phillips, Torx. So, again, these bits might not be what you want to use it for, but all you got to do is get back on Amazon and buy the bits you do need. Like, this is an H1.5 all the way up to an 8. So 1.52, 2.53, 4, 5, 6, 8. So these are the ones you're going to use all the time up to the M3 on the SCX6 and up to the 2. Um, it doesn't have the smaller ones for the TRX4M, but again, this tool is not for that. This tool is for um, bigger projects. So one of the most used Torx heads on the SCX6, I'm going to put this back in the box, lock it in, and then I've got this. This is the drill. It's got three Torx settings. It is very powerful. Um, you have to have a good grip on it. Again, it's got the lights like everything does. And this is also a standard bit. And it's magnetic. It's really magnetic. So. Forward and reverse. Uh, let's see if there's... Sure, that had Loctite on it. And that's on the lowest setting. At the highest setting, it pretty much rips your arm off. Here, let's put it at the highest setting and reverse this thing. Very powerful. So, I've been using this, um, and I mean, this I think is a little more expensive. I think it's like 70 bucks, 80 bucks maybe. 
but all of these are lithium batteries uh, they all plug in by USB-C they charge quickly um, and they're freaking heavy duty they're, uh, they, these are not cheap um, even though some of the prices might be pretty good these are not cheap old might be made in China but these are not cheap made in China these are really well done and I am impressed by them that's why I'm doing this little video so you got the big boy for big boy stuff you got the little guy for little guy stuff the buttons are very similar everything's pretty much the same uh, and then you've got the L-shaped for if you really need to hold on to it and get the job done now you can find Fantic bit kits um, I prefer just buying what I need than having a huge kit of crap I don't need like this stuff I mean they could have left that out and I'd be fine but the case is kind of nice um, you can get this in all kinds of color blue red I thought that was kind of cheesy so I just went with gray um, but I'm impressed with all three of them they all work great um, no complaints the only complaint I have is sometimes I don't have enough strength to hold on to the dang thing when it's ripping into a screw so that's why I have to put everything on one or two because three will just tear me up except for this one this one I can put on full bore and that's the great thing about having the L shape is you just torquing a little bit like this Whereas with the round ones, you're, you can't really hold real tight because you have to push these buttons and then it can spin on you. Um, but the, even the small one has enough torque to really let you have it. Um, even on low, so. Anyway, I just wanted to go through these. Uh, because I enjoy them very much. They make my life a lot easier. Um, and then when at the end of the day when you're done, they all come in a nice little closed up packaging. And you can put them in your drawer and get them out next time. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Um, I'll let you know. Then I can even send you links for these. Um, I'll probably put those in the comments uh, through Amazon. Um, because I, I mean, if you don't have the right tools for the job, the job's not going to be done right. And one of the biggest complaints I hear all the time are stripped screws. So if you don't have the right tool with the right power, with the right bit, you're always going to strip screws. No matter what they're made out of, you're going to strip them or you're going to strip your bit or you're going to break your bit or break the screw off. Something bad's going to happen if you're not using the right tool. And with these three things... You can always have the right tool. Um, some might say you don't have to have this one. These two take care of everything. But this one is under 30 bucks. So you might as well have it. Um, if I was working on an SCX6 on a budget, I would buy this and then buy me some bits. If I'm doing smaller scales, 124th, 118th, one twelfth I would buy this um, if I had the money I would get all three uh, because this 
makes it is very useful when you're doing wheels, tires, anything that's got room for this shape. Um, because sometimes there's spots that drills just can't get into because they're further down. This allows you to go further down because it's just a straight tool. Um, so yeah, if you uh, are in the market for new tools, and I'm not talking wrenches and all that stuff, I'm talking screwdrivers, bits, um, check these out. Got the next S1 Pro. I couldn't find a Max, but this is the top of the line next E1 Max. This is a L1 next L1. And I think this is a Pro. Not 100% for sure. Maybe it says. Nope. Don't say shit. Um, so anyway. I'll put some links down in the comments, and if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Um, maybe I'll do another video on other tools later on in the future. But uh, that's it for today. So everybody go grab your crawlers, get outside, and uh, get to tearing shit up. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate all of you. Um, have a great day.